So I was thinking about it, and every Blu-ray player, um, if you have an intense blue, the negative charge of it should be red because the that's the exact inverse color. That's a negative charge in a sense, inverting colors. And so the Blu-ray players, every single one of them, why every disc is so blue is because they don't have data encoded that just says it's supposed to be red here all the way around the disc because the disc spins, it reads it, or the laser moves across it. Either way, you know, they don't spin discs anymore because that'd be even more primitive of a Blu-ray player. Regardless, my point is you have to have some sort of way of making that, that inverse data red, though, or else it'll just be slightly more balanced instead of more balanced completely. And I know you're just hiding these players. Come on, people. If I thought of it, you already did it. It bounces it off of the disc and then up into the other sensor reader that just receives the laser, and then there's the inverse color straight off the blue disc. Like, but stop being a piece of shit. Of course, that's a more primitive way it's done, but like you're saying, since 2012... Optical Blu-ray slash Red Ray slash every color ray disc readers and burners have been available for like 20 to 50 bucks. So I've always had them. But there's no software this entire time that um lets me actually watch a movie. Because you see what what they they're so advanced, these um burners that it has every color of the rainbow of laser that it can produce. Then it just oscillates those colors into the disc to burn all those colors into the disc onto the blue. So what it can do is also read and oscillate the colors with its own rainbow of color in concert with the disc to re-rip that data with all its colors back out of the blue and remove any of the blue staining from it with software that they just say isn't available on the computer. Like, the only, what, power DVD? It used to work. In, like, 2008, there was a version that worked with older, like, ARM64. Now there's nothing that works with newer processing. You just can't do it. So that's an issue. And so why I'm complaining is because I'm just saying, well, if you're not going to have that processing, then we're going to inherently pull out probably, I assume, the older ones they refer you to to release till now of the Blu-ray readers in the first place yeah. that bounce it off the disc. So we just get rid of the whole problem because it's a physical thing instead of a software thing. Yeah. Because I'm sick of staring at blue all day. It gives me depression and blue balls. Also, fuck you, pay me for fixing life, faggot.